Hello, this is Lino Tadros, and in this video, I will share with you how to use the access key to check on your um, Azure storage account. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is that we will go into our account. So I'm going to bring it here to the screen. Uh, I'm going to create a brand new resource group here in, uh, in the portal. We'll say create a new resource group. And in here, we'll call it, for instance, uh, Lino TV. Alrighty. And we'll put it in the US East. Uh, we're not going to create any tags or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and create the resource group. All right. Inside of that resource group, we can go ahead and create a storage account really quickly. We'll say create. Oops, no, no, I don't want to do that. So let me go back home and we'll say create a resource. All right. And in here, we'll look for storage here somewhere. Uh, if it's not, we will uh, search for it. Sometimes it's available right on the beginning. So we'll say storage account. There it is. And in the storage account, when we create one of those, we will be able to give it the uh, resource group. And in the resource group, this is the Lino TV we just created. And we'll call it Lino TV storage. That is the name of our account. We'll keep it in the same region, the US East. I'm going to use the cheapest redundancy, which is the LRS, which is local. Alrighty. And um, you do not need to set anything else. You can choose all the different defaults. Um, in other videos, we will talk about security and networking and the data protection and the encryption. For this one, I'm just going to keep it simple. We'll say review and we will use all the built-in features for a storage account. All right. From this point on, I can actually go ahead and create some blobs, some tables, some queues, uh, whatever you would like. All right. So in this, we will wait for the deployment here, as you can see at the top, to finish uh, creating the account. And then we will go to that resource. OK, great. It took maybe about 30 seconds or so. Now I can actually go to the resource. It's called Lino TV Storage, as you can see in here. You'll notice I have my containers, my file shares, my queues, my tables. So I can go to the containers in here. I will go ahead and create a brand new container. We'll call it, for instance, my images. OK, you can call it anything you want, of course. You can make it private. You can make it public. You can make it based actually on the container itself, not the blobs inside of it. I'm going to keep it private for right now. Under advanced, of course, there is a lot of different encryption scopes. We will not deal with that for this video. We'll say create my images container. All right. And now I'm going to create another one. We'll call it my videos. We'll say my videos will do the same thing we'll say create here as well so now i have these two let's go ahead and for instance first to the my images and i'm going to upload just a couple of images here really quickly we'll say upload and we'll select from here we'll go to my pictures for instance see if i can have access to my pictures really quickly i'm going to use my dog and i'm going to use uh, let's say this uh, <laughs> dalmatian all right we'll say open there and we'll upload both of them. And really quickly, we will end up with two files right inside of here, okay? Let's go back also uh, to a different, um, to the Lino storage itself in here to my videos, and I'll upload just one video here as well so we can have something. So we'll say select this guy, and I'm gonna go click on videos. There you go. Hopefully we have a video here really quickly. There you go. There is my jib jab <laughs> and we'll say upload. All right. And now we have one file in one of the containers and two files in a different container. All right. And remember, they're all private. So uh, what is the best way to test this, especially if I would like to make sure that not everybody have access to read or write to that specific um, uh, to a specific video or the two images in these containers as well. One of the things that I really recommend for you to test with is to download the Azure Storage Explorer. Let me plug this into my Chrome in here. So if you go to the azure.microsoft.com, look for Azure Storage Explorer. It will take you just a couple of minutes to download in here and you'll end up with um, a Windows application that looks like this. This is the Azure Storage Explorer. It's a great way for you to test some things. You don't even need to have full access to your subscription, maybe just for the container itself. So we see that third button here on the left vertically. We click on connect. A dialog will come up, will ask you if you'd like to uh, get into a whole subscription or only a specific storage account or a blob container or ADLS for a data lake, file share, and so on and so forth. In my case, I'm going to click on the storage account. Notice there are now three different ways you can get to it. 
You can get to it by connection string, and it could be a key or a SAS, which is the shared access signature. We will do that in a different video later on. Or you can just use a shared access signature URL, which is the service URL itself. Or if you'd like to use the key instead of the connection string, you can use the third one as well. I'm going to start with the last one. We'll say account name and key. Let's click on that and we'll say next. Now in this dialog, it will ask you if this is the regular Azure or the one in China or the US government. I'm using the regular Azure in here. You can give it whatever name you want. We'll say Lino TV. There you go. And the account name, I can get that from the portal. So let me go back to the portal and I'm going to go back to my uh, account and we'll say overview. And notice in the overview in here, we will have the, uh, the name of the account. You can even get it all the way from the top here, Lino TV storage, control C that. And I'm going to go back to the app. We'll be there. And then it's expecting an account key, not a connection string and account key. So where do I get that from here? If you go to um, the access keys in here, you will see two of them. There is a key one and a key two. You can show them as well if you'd like. It doesn't matter that you can see it in this video. I'm going to delete the resource group anyway. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to copy the first one. You can take either one of them. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to take the first one. We will go back to the app and I'm going to go to account key and paste that in. Now I'm going to say next and there it is. Make sure you only connect to resources you trust, of course. Uh, but the thing that you need to know about an access key, once somebody have that access key, you cannot limit what they can do, really. Uh, it's not that I'm only going to allow you to read, but not write and not delete. No, if you have the access key, you can do anything to that account. If you need a little bit more power, then we will see that in a different video using the SAS by having expiration and also the power of to do specific things like reading only or deleting only and stuff like that. So for right now, whoever, ever, whoever is having one of the keys will do whatever they want. Let's go ahead and connect. And there is my Lino TV. Notice I don't have any files, queues or tables, but I do have blob containers. So it should see the my images and my videos. If I click on my images, you will see there is two of them, the Dalmatian and the uh, Ida, my dog. So if I click on one of them, I can even double click on it and see um, the, the, how the dog looks as well. It's opening it now as a JPEG using that MIME type and successfully added the new connection. And now it's transferring that to my machine uh, to be able uh, uh, to see it in the clipboard, to the clipboard if I want to show it in folder, but it downloaded that on my machine in here. If I click on my videos, same thing. It will show me what's available. It's an MP4. I can double click on it, download it on my machine and do whatever I want. So this is how easy really to use the storage explorer from Azure like this one and being able to test and see what you can do with your keys. Remember, just having the keys, you will be able to do whatever you want to everything inside of these containers in here. Alrighty. Hopefully that was easy to show you how to have access to your storage, especially with the blob containers like images and videos and so on and so forth. We'll see you again soon in a different video on Lino TV. Thank you.